This remarkable story unfolds in Shenzhen, located in South China's Guangdong province, where a young boy achieved a rare honor in 2014. Doctors bowed three times in respect for him after his passing. Such a three-time bow is typically reserved for deities, emperors, or individuals of exceptional honor. What had Liang done to earn such reverence from the medical staff? Liang was an ordinary boy, much like his peers in Shenzhen. He was born healthy and full of vigor, attending school, playing with friends, and dreaming like any young boy would. His dream was to become an inventor when he grew up. However, everything changed when tragedy struck. At just 10 years old, Liang began feeling dizzy, a symptom he mentioned to his mother. Initially dismissed as a minor fever, his condition worsened despite over-the-counter medication. When Liang came home that day, we thought it was just a minor illness, so I got him drugs from the pharmacy. We all expected that he would be fine by the next day or after two to three days. We thought everything was just going to return to normal, but it only worsened rather than get better. Day by day, Liang's illness became scarier. It was nothing like we had ever seen before, so we had to take him to the hospital, his mother recalled. At the hospital, Liang underwent a series of tests that revealed a devastating diagnosis, a brain tumor. The news was a heavy blow, especially for a young boy and his mother, who had to confront the harsh reality of his terminal illness. Liang was faced with the prospect of limited playtime with his friends, irregular school attendance due to hospital visits, and the constant fear of his impending death. With the grim prognosis of cancer, both Liang and his parents were devastated. The doctor's words were not needed to convey the seriousness of the situation. The news alone brought tears and overwhelming anguish. The thought of losing their beloved son was unbearable for his parents. Despite the bleak outlook, Liang remained surprisingly optimistic. Determined to make a difference, he diligently followed his treatment regimen and attended school whenever his health permitted. He let go of his dream of becoming an inventor, opting instead to pursue a career as a doctor to save lives. A school lesson on bone marrow transplants deeply influenced Liang's decision. However, as time passed, his health steadily declined, making it increasingly challenging for him to attend school regularly. As Liang's health deteriorated, he spent increasing amounts of time in the hospital, connected to various tubes to sustain him. Despite his efforts to remain optimistic, not being able to attend school left him unhappy. To help him cope, his family ensured he was constantly engaged during his hospital stays. His siblings took turns visiting him, and they provided him with numerous books to read, all of which he devoured within days. Financial constraints added to the family's struggles, as the cost of Liang's treatment drained their resources. Witnessing their son endure so much pain was emotionally taxing for his parents. Despite the challenges, Liang's medical team remained committed to his care, conducting extensive research and performing numerous surgeries, yet his condition showed no improvement. By the time Liang turned 11, with no signs of progress, it became evident to him and his parents that his time on earth was limited. Nonetheless, Liang remained determined to make a difference, drawing inspiration from the knowledge he gained through his readings. He had a clear idea of what he wanted to do, and he was ready to share his decision with his family. During a visit to the hospital, Liang revealed his dying wish to his mother. He wanted his organs to be donated to the hospital after his passing. He explained that since he wouldn't need them anymore, it would be meaningful to give them to someone who could use them to live. He expressed, it would be a chance for me to be alive in another way and also help other people. This would be my way of making someone else happy and making the world a better place. Liang stressed to his mother how crucial it was for his wish to be honored. He continued, There are many people doing great things in this world. They're great, and I want to be a great kid too. Even if I might not have much time left, I want to leave a lasting impact. I want this to be my legacy, something that will ensure people don't forget that I was here. His mother, though heartbroken, couldn't help but be proud of her son's selfless decision. With tears in her eyes, she agreed to fulfill his wish, bringing immense happiness to Liang. 
Despite facing immense challenges, Liang was determined to achieve something great in his life, believing that longevity was not a prerequisite for greatness. Though he may not have fully grasped the impact of his decision, he achieved his wish. In June 2014, after a courageous battle, Liang succumbed to cancer. His passing left his family devastated, particularly his mother, who was determined to preserve his legacy. Prior to his death, Liang had informed the doctors of his desire to donate his organs. They were astonished by the maturity and selflessness of his decision and pledged to honor his wish. In China, voluntary organ donation was uncommon due to cultural practices where the deceased were typically cremated, and organ donation was not widely considered. Despite being a world leader in organ transplants, the demand far exceeded the supply, leaving many in need without options. Although Lang's understanding of the situation might have been limited, his decision was remarkable. After receiving approval from his mother to proceed with organ donation, the medical team surrounded the young boy, unable to save him, but committed to fulfilling his final wish. In a gesture of utmost respect, they bowed three times, a tribute reserved for esteemed individuals. Moments later, Liang's kidneys and liver were successfully harvested, ensuring that his legacy of compassion and altruism would live on. Not all heroes wear capes. Some are 11-year-olds with hearts of gold. Liang Yui's legacy resides in the lives of those he selflessly helped through organ donation. Reflecting on her son's profound act, Li Qin expressed immense pride, stating, I'm so proud of Liang. Though he lived just 11 years, his impact is immeasurable. He will always be remembered, and his selfless deed will endure eternally. Liang's youth belied the wisdom he imparted to his family. He left an indelible mark, teaching valuable life lessons that will be cherished forever. Acts of selflessness like Liang's should be revered, commemorated, and perpetually discussed. His example serves as inspiration for others to make meaningful contributions and strive to create positive change in the world.